Hello and welcome everyone. I hope you are looking forward to this episode as much as I am looking forward to making it. I feel like I'm getting very close to the end of this game and I'm very keen to see how it all wraps up. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. So, I believe I was actually 54, 27... This one was actually not... The autosave is not where I want to be. 16, 16, 16, 24. Actually looks like I put it into my last save slot, which is the one that I typically use for grinding and farming and side quests, which I'm not doing at the moment. So, uh, in the last episode, for those of you who might not remember, we got the second ending of the game, which apparently still isn't the true ending. Uh, again, we got a flash like as if the book was showing us what was going on and what might potentially happen. Uh, but now that we know and saw what uh, that we're going to lose Adele. Yes, Adele. Now that we saw that we might lose Adele, we are looking for another route to take. And we were given some hints. And the biggest hint that we got was that we still don't have all the asterisks. And then we saw a wonderful cutscene showing that Sir Sloane had a asterisk that was broken into two. It also looked like there was a blurry image when we were looking at the memories of the different asterisks. Um, and that showed that some of the... What was it? The original Warriors of Light and how they did their thing. So, with those clues in mind, I figured the best thing to do would go back to Sloane's grave. Mainly just because I don't know what else to be doing with it. Lonsdale's here. Oh, that's right, Lonsdale's here. I'll not forget the debt I owe you, King Vernon, not for as long as I live. You have grown strong, heroes of light. It... it can't be. Sir Sloan? It has been half a century now since your grandfather, Noble Godric, gave his life that the Nexus might be sealed away. Yea, though we did strive to attain the means by which this cruel fate might be avoided, t'was not to be. His destiny, like that of those who came before him, was to sacrifice himself that we, his brothers and sisters, might live. But you're saying there is a way to avoid it? Perhaps. If thou art grown as mighty as thou seemest. Whoa! Come, the asterisk of bravery is thine for the taking. Show me your courage, heroes of light. Hot damn. Okay. True bravery consists in confronting that which we fear. Alas, tis a feat easier spoken of than achieved. Canst thou trust in the light of hope, and stand unfaltering in the face of a foe whose power is beyond imagining? Come, test thy mettle. Prove to me thy hard-won courage! Okay, so this is going to be interesting. I'm guessing he's meant to be a very difficult boss. That is a lot of... Wow, that's a lot of HP. Is weak against darkness though, which is good. So let's just start... Let's just test the waters. 
Um, obviously, something always helpful is bringing up the Healthbringer. Okay, what's the plan? See how you like this. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage. Why did that not do a lot of damage? Primordial forces consume you. Cheers. I owe you one. Um. That's also not doing a lot. Here I go. Try this for size. Okay, seriously, why is these attacks not doing a lot? Holy crap! Interesting. So, I might actually want to do this. Uh, so, spirit magic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Select Selected ally will be automatically revived. Re-raise. 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 your power. Now we're talking. A little magical assistance. Feel ten times tougher. Spirits protect us. Lend us your power. Oh, that feels great. Uh, right on then. So, because apparently he's quite strong. I'm. Will some of magic assail you? Guess it's my turn. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that he's like really strong though. I do want to figure out. Causes confusion. I mean, like, these are the blades that he's been using the whole time. I don't get why it's not doing the damage it used to do. Um. Oh, half damage from those weapons. That's why. My bacon there. Interesting. Let's see how you deal with this. No, not now. No, still standing. True courage consists also in belief. Belief in spite of fear. The strength to overcome adversity. Stand tall, heroes of light. No matter the foe. Reach for the light of hope within and forge a way ahead. Okay then. Right. Uh, so... It might be useful, actually. Do I have something that can... I don't have anything that can heal an entire party. But I might want to do this quickly. Here, try this. Thank you. This will do it. Oh, thanks for bailing me out. Oh, what's next, I wonder? Primordial forces consume you! Okay, so... Let me see. What just happened? I don't I'm I'm not entirely sure I know what just happened. So maybe let's do that. And then let's do a re-raise you again. And what else do I have that can do damage to him? He's probably gonna half damage holy, right? Let me help you. Spirits protect us. Maelstrom of magic assail you. I do like it when that happens. Yep, half light. Okay, what's the plan? So we don't see what things get halved and what things get 
but we do know that he is doing half on swords. So maybe I should change this. Can I use a staff? And then try that with Godspeed Strike. No big deal. I think he's halving the trident as well. But given what he's got left in the tank. Uh, martial arts. Let's see how you deal with this. I've lost a lot of PP somewhere. It's nothing. It's his wall. Thanks. His wall is forcing me to lose BP. Okay, but I think, actually, we can change this one out as well, maybe to an axe, or to another staff, nope, to an axe, or, yep, axe is definitely going to be the way to go, gives me the least amount of... Damage loss, yeah. And now I should be able to finish this up very quickly because he's got nothing left in the tank. So two of these should be all I need. Oh. I hope Sir Sloan was impressed. Apparently I just needed the one. <sighs> Impressive. Truly, thou art worthy of the crystal's blessing. And so, the asterisk too shall be thine. But uh, I don't get it. Wasn't the asterisk of bravery... Indeed so. Twas cloven in twain, and it's one half since spinning into the void some fifty years since. But the stone was not lost. No. True bravery is never far from those who know where to seek it. Gaze closely upon the pommel of my beloved blade. It, it's half an asterisk. And lo. What? You mean I have the other half? I... I found this when I was out on that old woman's boat. Gloria, give me your hand. Uh, oh, all right. I kind of wish I had face cam on right now because the look on my face would be priceless. Are you freaking kidding me? We've had this since the beginning of the game. We could have had the Brave Bearer job from the beginning. Like this whole time. What the frack? Okay, so, brave bearers boast skills that were thought to have been long since lost and use them to inspire courage in their allies. Super gravity deals damage to all targets equal to 25% of, of the user's current HP. And wall of woe cause all allies and enemies to lose 1 BP 3 times at regular intervals. Ah, that's the annoying thing that it was using against me. So how did that piece of asterisk wind up on the other side of the sea? Didn't it get sucked into some kind of void or something? Yes, it is rather a mystery, isn't it? 
Heroes of light, tis time to venture forth. May thy bravery shatter at long last the cruel chains of destiny. Goodbye, Sir Sloan. Well, I'll be jiggled. Who'd have thought the pair of you had the asterisk all along? We cannot let our old friend down. Right. Looks like it's our turn to be the heroes. Let's do this! C Crikey! What's up, Elvis? This is... Amazing! I, I can read it! Finally! I, I can read it all! I knew it was worth hunting down all those asterisks! No way! So, what does it say? Give us a wee second. Let's see now. I wished to see my power lost for all eternity. And so I set out to gather the asterisks in which all potential resides. In that of the librarian, I did lock away the memories that make me what I am. And the asterisk I did transform into a book. As long as the book remains, as long as these memories remain, I can never perish. My potential will know no bounds and my essence shall be closed to all. I am immortal. I am undying memory. I see all, know all, etch all into the endless black. And as I do so, all memory becomes as one. Hence my name, the Knight's Nexus. What the heck? So the book was an asterisk all along. I suppose that explains why getting our hands on the other wee blighters helped us read it. And it was made by the Knight's Nexus, or... No, it is the Knight's Nexus, or its memory at least. So we have to destroy the book if we want to beat the Nexus. Fine, uh, let's just set it on fire or something. Uh, I'm not so sure that'll work. I may have accidentally dropped it in a fire once when I was a wee bit eager to warm myself. Didn't leave so much as a scorch mark, as you can see. I don't think we'll be getting rid of it that easily. But as long as the book remains, we can never hope to defeat the Nexus, no matter how many times we fight it. Right. To destroy it, we need to destroy its memory. Guess we better figure out how. Go speak with Lady Esmeralda. Oh, so I need to go back. Okay, let's do the party chat first. The asterisk of bravery. I can't believe that thing I found way back when Way back when was half of an asterisk, and to think I had the other half all along, so Sloane was watching over us this whole time. I and thanks to him, the asterisk of bravery is back in one piece at last. Guess this means the old heroes of light have given us their seal of approval. I who'd have thought we'd have to fight a young Sir Sloane to get it though, hey? Now we know how truly mighty our predecessors were. So what was he exactly? A memory? A ghost? He seemed too real for that. Did Elvis's book somehow take us back to a battle in the past or something? Yes, perhaps his spirit rose from its final resting place to join with the book somehow. So that we might be tested one last time and found worthy. I made you a promise, O Sloan. And I mean to keep it. Okay, so I actually want to pop out of here quick. So, teleport stone. And actually, now that I've got a new job, which isn't leveled at the moment, I probably go need to go do some grinding as well. Because I'd actually very much like to have this 
Uh, wait, wait. Which way did this thing take? Oh, it took me to the old spa old place. Interesting. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spend some time grinding levels so that I can very quickly get the Brave Bearer job up to snuff with all of my others. It should actually... It will be valuable because it's going to increase the stats for the freelance job even further, which is already pretty damn OP. But regardless, uh, it, it's going to be weird if I have just like this one stupid asterisk that isn't mastered at the very least. So, with that, I'm going to head over to my grinding spot in Savalon, and I will see you all in a bit after this time skip. A few minutes later. Hey everyone, just jumping in here quickly because I'm not sure if everybody knows some of the different farming strategies that you have when it comes to JP. Uh, the one that's been working very well for me, I thought maybe I'd just quickly share it. Uh, basically, what I try and do is Especially this late in the game, it's quite easy, uh, but effectively I make sure to have Monk as my sub job uh, so that I can get access to Focal Blast and Pressure Point. And then I run some kind of a variation of the abilities with JP up, JP up and up. And then I either have MP Saver so that I can keep using um, the Flames Attack, uh, or I have... Uh, from the Pictomancer, the sub job BB Saver, which then lets me use Pressure Point over and over. And then I usually have some kind of a attack boosting stat. In this case, I'm currently going with two hands all better than one, uh, which seems to be working quite well. And then just uh, inside of Savalon, if you go through the waterways, you will find this guy. Now, currently I've got Obliterate on as well, is gonna be fun. but normally when you do these runs, you won't have access to that yet because you shouldn't have the Brave Bearer job yet. Uh, but effectively just spamming Focal Blast um, allows you to take this guy down very, very quickly. Especially when you reach a point where your stats get quite high and oh my word, I am literally three points away. I thought this was going to be it. This is why I decided to show it to you guys right now. I thought that was it. But basically, the way that you farm this guy over and over, just run back up here, keep holding up until it loads so that you run back out again. When you start going into this loading screen, you can start holding down so that you can run directly at him, which is nice and convenient. Uh, of course, because this guy is a rare mob, uh, attacking him beforehand, swiping your sword, doesn't really give you any benefits. So you can just run straight down into him. This will be a walk in the park. Here it comes. Okay. And that's basically it. Oops. I forgot to change his auto attacks. But there we go, that's One basically it. Nice and easy, and uh, because you can just run in and run out, it, uh, just because you can run in and run out, it makes it easy to restore the fight and get back to a point where you can save him. So I'm going to time skip ahead again, and when I see you next, I will have my alt, I will have my builds sorted out, and I will be prepping to speak with lady esmeralda a little longer than a few minutes later okay and i'm back so i have leveled up the braver job all the way to master at least because obviously i haven't unlocked it so i can't get to legendary but i've cleaned up my builds i've sorted out my gear my equipment and i am now back i need to speak with lady esmeralda are you ready to face your final challenge, Heroes of Light? Uh, wait. Hang Very on. Well. 
I... Let's see what Lady Esmeralda has to tell us first. So do I need to continue? Is that how this works now? Or just fight Are the fight again? To face your final challenge, Heroes of Light? Very well. This doesn't Fall seem right. Back. Feels like I'm just doing the same thing again. That must be the next. We can hold it back. The rest is up. I feel like I might be missing something. Yeah, I've already fought this thing, so... Time to play my trump cards! Now, pay close attention! It's time to go all out! I'll do nicely. I've got my uses. So we've seen all this before, so I'm just gonna skip through it and I'm just gonna rush through this boss as quickly as I possibly can. At last. Ah, that's such not what I wanted to do. Okay, wait. Weak against light, which he doesn't have, but he has things like that and things like that. Oh, there we go. That's light damage, isn't it? Okay, I'm going all in. See how you like this. Let me see. Uh, okay, so that's not helping anyone. There is nothing else. Mag Wait! This. Okay, so I'm getting the exact same ending as before, even though I have all the asterisks. So the question is what am I missing? What did I miss? I thought that was the whole point. So far, everything is exactly the same. Wait, Adele! I probably... ooh, maybe I shouldn't have skipped that, maybe something was different. Save your completed game data, yes. Oh, 
Okay. Quest to speak with Esmeralda. What am I missing? Hmm. I am somewhat confused at the moment. Are you ready to face your final challenge, Heroes of Light? Uh, no, not just yet. Very okay. Well. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Um... Nothing interesting in the lore. Anything in the travelogue? Chapter 5 onwards. The truth behind the book. Um, I don't know. Let's save. And then travel. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on. That's new. That's new. Interesting. Okay, so I, I didn't save before I started recording again. I'm guessing they wanted me to save expected me to save at some point and notice that so the time has come at last eh it's the old boat lady In the pages. Interesting. Wait, was that another one of the memories from the book? Well, one of them looked like the Knight's Nexus, but the other one was some old lady. I know that woman. Nexus's memory. So the Nexus memories are gone now, right? I don't think so. Can't see any mention of it in the book anymore. Nope, I think that's done it. Sure, all well and good, but we still need to get rid of the actual Nexus, and that won't be easy. But at least now we know when the awful creature is beaten, it'll stay beaten. Just one wee problem, though. We have no idea where it actually is. Exactly, if I remember rightly, the book said the Nexus was made of two parts, the soul and the vessel. Now that we've taken care of the soul, we just need to destroy the vessel. Exactly. All right, then let's go find it. That old woman the book showed us, you think she might know something? I'm not sure it can't hurt to go and ask, eh? Now, if I remember rightly, but now, why can't I just... Are you ready to face your final challenge, Heroes of Light? Very well. Okay, I really don't want to do that fight again. I'm guessing that that's not going to change and that's not the actual body. So, instead, let's go find the old woman who was in Halcyonia the first time when we met her. And figure out what kind of magic she does with that boat of hers. because apparently she knows something. Why is it? Like, right at the start of this video, I was saying, I don't have a lot of things to complain about this. It's about a stock standard RPG with fun characters, good gameplay, an okay story. 
But why now suddenly do I find out that the most important item that I need, I had on me from the beginning? And the most useful person to talk to is one of the first people I met in the game. That's not some kind of a trope that I'm missing, right? Is that meant to be an actual trope? Dramatic irony does come to mind. I wonder if this applies. So, I believe she was here the first time. Maybe I can just speak to her? Also, I don't actually think... Yeah, I haven't actually collected my <laughs> the stuff from the boat from the last time. Uh, it's in this room right here. Hello, old lady. Uh, stop exploring. Give me stuff. Ooh, booster buns. Cool. Talk to the old lady. I've been waiting here so long now, staring out to sea. Just waiting and waiting for someone to come and visit me. You're... I mean, are you... <laughs> Don't even try to work it out. Any memory of my ever existing was gobbled up a long, long time ago. Still, I'm glad my weight wasn't wasted. In fact, I'd say it was 50 years very well spent. Here you are, at last. The heroes of light. The crystals chosen. Praise be. I, too, was once chosen, half a century ago, when the world knew me as Eileen, Queen of Fairies. Wait, you're her? I am indeed. Godric, Emma, Sloane, and myself. We, too, once faced the Nexus. Alas, we were unable to destroy it. No sooner had we defeated it than it rose once more. And though we did all we could, the mystery of how it might be permanently eliminated eluded us. So it fell to the scion of Musa to do his duty. Godric sacrificed himself, and the evil was imprisoned. <sighs> but we know how to defeat it now. The book showed us where it's hidden its soul away. Lady Emma clearly taught you well. It showed us a place somewhere across the sea. Across the sea, you say? The outer oceans, I would wager. The outer oceans? Are they different somehow? Very different, my dear. It is the name we give to the dimensions beyond our own. As the crystal's power has weakened, worlds once separated by vast oceans have become connected. Worlds utterly unlike our own. Worlds utterly unlike our own? Like where we go when we die? Only one who hails from the other side may cross the outer oceans. And so you will prove useful to your friends in more ways than one. Now, prepare yourself, and when you are ready, climb aboard the boat. I will send you on your way. Okay, hold up a minute. Does that mean that the reason why Seth... Hmm, okay. Visit the outer oceans, that's a new option. Okay, so does that mean that Seth actually came from the other worlds, the outer oceans, 
was it because he died that he went there and came back or was he from there or from the beginning and amnesia just means he doesn't know that I'm confused. The story seems so straightforward. Very well. It is time. Fire, water, wind, and earth. By your power, may the heroes of light go forth. Wait, is she gone? Did she disappear too? I always knew and accepted my fate. I knew it was my duty as a princess of Musa. But you... You chose this of your own free will. To fight. To make a stand against calamity and misfortune. You chose it too. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't. It's nothing to do with fate or the crystal's blessing. We all chose this. Exactly. Free will is what brought us here. Aye, we might have all had our various reasons, but why swear the details, right? What's important is that we all chose to be with one another. I chose to ask Adele along on my travels, and she chose to stick with me. I took one look at her, and I could see that she was tough and reliable, and just who I needed along for the ride. Yeah, I guess I saw something similar. I saw someone I could trust. Even if he did turn out to be even more of a bonehead than I suspected. Hey, I thought we weren't getting into the details. You'd think I'd said that enough times by now. All right. The Knight's Nexus is somewhere on this island. We need to find it, and we need to end this. Let's move out. So now, I suppose, the big question is, is this a dungeon? Okay, so actually, you know what? If this is a dungeon, then that probably means I need to do things. So first of all, I want to... Uh, I want to change this into... Um, Sword lore, I'm changing into Divining Rod because I'm guessing they are uh, chests. That's the word. Man, I'm having such a hard time. Okay, so and then also obliterate so that if I do run into enemies, I can just quickly run. I can just quickly finish it. So, okay. Oh, that's creepy undead dudes and creepy flans. I'm guessing these are new enemies as well. Um, hmm. I don't think I want to attack anything on purpose now. I'd like to see if I can finish up the dungeon. Oh, that is creepy. Creepy. Um, there is nothing here. Um, okay. What am I missing? Oh, wait, no.
Wait, I'm... I'm confused. Okay. I, I feel like uh, me being confused is the theme of the day. What else am I missing? Oh, I just didn't explore far enough. What the? He met that? himself. What just happened? I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. How did I meet myself? <laughs> you will regret this. Oh wow, these guys aren't 20 levels below me. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Let's see. I mean, I suppose this is the last dungeon, so what did they say? Weak against thunder. Okay, what's the plan? Okay. Okay, so obliterate is not going to help me on this level. Interesting. I suppose that's good to know, though. Do I care about the potty chat? Leaving the world behind. The final battle will soon be upon us and fancy having to leave our world in order to fight it. I never imagined it would come to this, but we have to see this through. Now we've come so far. You bet you do no turning back now. Certainly not. Onward to the depths of the world beyond our own where the night's nexus awaits. We're nearly there now. No slacking you lot. Let's see this through to the end. Don't worry, Alvis, nothing's going to stop us now. Time has come to finish things off once and for all. And remember, we're not just doing this for us, we're doing it for the heroes of light who came before us, and all those who have suffered at the hands of the Knight's Nexus, all those whose lives have been destroyed. Humans and fairy count too shall live in peace once more. This is it, guys. Let's do it. I actually kind of missed doing voices. Hmm. For these things. I should be doing voices. I should have been doing voices from the beginning. But no. I'm not sure why I stopped though. All hands on deck. Here I go. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Primordial forces. Okay, what's consume. the plan? Oh. Right. Prepare for impact. Oh, half damage swords. Would you look at that? I actually think those enemies were different. And I didn't identify them now. Mjolnir obtained. Interesting. Um... I feel like I don't want to explore too much, but I'm worried that I won't get all the items, but I'm not getting all the chests. How would I know? How would I know that I'm getting all the chests that I need or in the area? It's interesting how this other world has elements of our world. Uh, meaning whatever the continent is that the heroes came from. I can't see a thing in this fog. Huh? 
clear away a thick fog. What's that? So that's what the heroes have been doing on the other world. Right? Ooh, save point. I was wondering how the whole thing with the boats. Ooh, I want to fight that. I want to fight that. With the boats and the heroes encountering each other, how that really ties into things. I'm guessing it's the Here I go. Reaper, Launcher, Reaper, Assassin, Lava, Tortoise. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing the other worlds have something to do with that. So I know that a lot of people have been recommending that you make use of uh, the Beastmaster job to increase your stats, but I have to say this that even with long. all the creatures that I've caught up until now, it feels like my stats are much higher with, uh, with the Freelancer and the, all the different maxed out jobs. I'm beginning to think maybe this game's volume was too loud, this whole recording through. Diamond chest plate. Interesting. Um, okay, I can't remember where I am or what. Uh, up. Nothing here. Still have two chests to find. Looks like the corruption is getting worse and worse the farther I get into this area. Um. Oh man, this. I just want to fight these creatures and get their encyclopedia entries, but at the same time, I really just want to get to the end. Ooh, chest. One more. One more to find. We'll wipe the floor with them. So hopefully. Oh, somebody's healing from that. Hopefully there is going to be hmm, somewhere that I can use a tent. Um, yeah, I can't use a tent here. So hopefully there's going to be another area with a... a save point. Um... And hopefully I'm going in the right direction. I don't actually know where I am.
The corruption seems to be getting worse, so I'm guessing it's the right place. What's this? Oh, there's a... Ooh, there's a chest! I nearly missed that chest because the enemy was standing, like, right on top of it. This is gonna be I would have run right past it and then gotten lost on my way back. Water and yeah, that'll work. I'm amazing. Gold hairpin. Um, yeah, where was I? Uh, I was trying to run down the edge to see if it takes me somewhere. The corruption is definitely getting worse, so I'm guessing this is where I need to be. Or close to it, at least. That oh! What's that? Why does he keep saying, what's that? Heroes of Light. I was pretty nervous at first. They wouldn't stop telling me how humans were stupid barbaric creatures. But they were wrong. I know that now. Humans aren't stupid and they aren't barbaric. They definitely don't deserve to be destroyed. Which is why. I've solved the riddle of that wee book at last. Does that mean my journey's come to an end? Of course it doesn't. The others want to see this through, and by crikey, so do I. They need my help, and that's the only reason I need to help them. Which is why. Father, Sir Sloane, you will not have to wait much longer. My duty as a scion of Musa will soon be fulfilled. I must put an end to this, and I must ensure that no such tragedy blights the world again. Which is why. The only one who hails from the other side may cross the outer oceans. And so you will prove useful to your friends in more ways than one. That's what the Queen of Fairies said. The whole reason I was watched up on that beach is so I could be here today. And now I've made it this far, there's no turning back. Which is why we have to destroy the Knight's Nexus. But first... <gasps> gotta sleep. Uh, so... Save first. Sleep first, then save. Save, then sleep. Sleep, then save. Sleep, then save. The Isle of Lights. Oh. I don't know if I should have been using the same same slot now. Oh well, too late now. Um, there's nothing here. Oh. <laughs> okay. This could be it. I guess our big final battle's waiting for us down there. Let's... <gasps> no! I forgot to change my one skill! I should have waited and checked. No. I have a very bad feeling about this. <laughs> It once it all for itself, huh? Every single memory in the world. 
Aye, and not for a good reason. Filthy, corrupted creature. It just wants to destroy the lot of them. To gobble them up full stop. Never forget! Never forget! Those who feared my knowledge! Who tried to lock me away! None shall be forgiven! <sighs> Hear me, Nexus. It is not your knowledge that mankind fears. It is your greed. Your insatiable need to consume all that we remember. All that we hold dear. Lies! Lies! You fear my wisdom. It's perfection. I have seen a scattered fragments of memory gathered. The meaning has given meaning! All knowledge subsumed into one glorious whole! The land obstructs me, needlessly hinders my purpose! It must be obscured, extinguished, annihilated! Alright, we've got a world to save! Okay, so... Ooh, uh, so these hands don't look very much stronger than they were before. But I think what I am going to do is I'm going to default until I've got some BB built up. One more for there. Okay, what's the plan? Okay. So, I am just going to Godspeed strike everything. Right thing. Um. Wait. What? I'm very confused. What even was that? Does that feel better? A little magical assistance. I won't let you down. Lend us your power. Are you talking? A little magical assistance. You rang? Okay, what's my strongest fire attack? Eat sorcery. On to the next one. How do I get my dude back now? That's not a lot of HP. Not enough MP? Why? Where did all my MP go? against holy oh electron should do it thanks for your help let me see um so weak against holy right that's the big thing so also you also don't have anything left hmm Let's re raise. This should do it. Lend us your power. Oh, that feels great. Ouch. So somehow yeah. they are stealing abilities. So what I should do. How do I get rid of. Hmm. This is the final fight, right? So, in theory, just be using my elixirs. Let's see now. Hey, try 
Destroyed. I am free at last of the chains that bound me. Free to wreak desolation on the land. Shall be devoured. All shall be consigned to oblivion. Destruction. Annihilation. All shall be consumed. Uh, where am I? I can't remember my name. Who am I? Who... Who are you? What, what's happening? Give your memories up to oblivion. Return to the void. To nothingness. I... I, I can't remember anything. Uh, who am I again? I don't understand. Where am I? What's going on? No big deal. I needed that. The whole world is counting on us. Adele, you left your hometown to search for your sister, remember? And you were brave enough to show us that you were a fairy even though that put you in danger. You risked your life to spread your wings and rescue Martha. You're the only one of your kind willing to give humans a chance. And more than that, you're our friend. I am. I'm Adele, hero of light and chosen warrior of the Crystal of Fire. Okay, what's the plan? Elvis! Don't tell me you've forgotten who you are. Not after you finally unlocked the secrets of that book. You're the best scholar I know, and an even better friend. Nothing phases you, or ever gets you down. And you taught me the best lesson I ever learned. Don't sweat the details. But that too. <laughs> hey! Ah, dead. And I've not forgotten who I am. Elvis, the Earth Crystal's very own hero of light, reporting for duty. I hope you're looking out for me up there, Lady Emma. Oh, really? Immune, 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 but not a lot of specific weaknesses. Gloria, you have to remember, you're the last princess of Musa. You set out on a quest to take back the crystals, and you finally found them all. You're proud, and strong, and totally committed. You were even ready to give your life to save the world. I'll never forget you. For what you've done, or what we've been through together. You have to remember! Yes. I... am Gloria. I am a hero of light. Chosen by the Water Crystal. Be gone. Dissipate! Perish! 
You are exiled to oblivion! You shall be lost! Forgotten! I... I'm... No... To remember. Come on, damn you, you can't go forgetting who you are now of all times. I. I remember. Oh well. Get rid of me that easily. I'm not going anywhere. You'll not be obliterating this one's memory anytime soon. He's our friend, our partner. We've been through hell together. We'll never forget him. And as long as that's true, I'll always be here. Man, that was a lot. Jeez, that's a lot of debuffs. What the frack? All my stats have gone down. What the hell? I'm going all in. See how you like this. Try this for size. Prepare for impact. How you like this? We will survive this. All of us. Yes, more. Okay, so very important. I do think I need to bring no wait, 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 wait. So removes status effects. That's what I'm looking for. And then Okay, uh what do I want? Remove status effects. Do I want to remove status effects or do I want to re... Actually, no. I think the one that I want is the Basuna bringer. And then... Holies. Let me help you. Maelstrom of magic assail you. How very satisfied. Immune against light. What? Okay, so... Uh, um, okay, what am I doing? Huh, wait a second, so who did what now? I forgot that I've got Mimic. Okay, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, but I'm guessing also if I do mimic something like... Uh, like using an elixir, it's going to target the same person. So let's do that. Let's do that. You know what? I might as just as well do everyone. So that and that. Yeah, that's 
Damn it, again. Okay, what's the plan? So my biggest problem now is I don't know if there's more to this fight. But since most of my most of my abilities are done, what I'm going to do Again, final fight, I might as well. I'm going to elixir myself. I'm going to triple god speed strike. This will do it. Try this for size. Prepare for impact. I've got a little something for you. I'm gonna hope this is it because I'm pretty screwed otherwise. We finally did for it! It's really over, isn't it? That's just the one page left. Let's see now. Maybe it's our memories. Thank you. All of you. What's happening? I think this island might have been relying on the Nexus to keep it whole. Then we need to get out of it. It's no good. There's no time. No. We can't give up now. We mustn't. What's happening? <gasps> Look, everyone. You have done well, Heroes of Light. The Knight's Nexus is no more. Now we return to our true purpose. That of balancing the four great powers. The land shall be fertile once more. The sea is calm and gentle. Peace shall return. But should your kind succumb once more to temptation, give in to anger, calamity shall soon befall you. But not now, not here. Thanks to your efforts, this chapter is at an end. The Knight's Nexus has fallen, and the wall between humanity and fairy kind too shall fall. This being so, accept this, our final blessing. You shall be returned to the world from whence you came. Home at last, huh? Aye, seems like it. All's well that ends well, eh? But is it really, truly over? Yeah, I think it is this time. <sighs> All right, time to go home. Everyone ready? Yes.
He's going to go somewhere else now. That's what he realized. Could... But why? That was really good. I quite like that. I think they did very well with the ending. After the first two fake endings, I was a little worried that they might screw it up. That last boss fight also, given how I kind of breezed through a lot of the other fights, I was impressed by um, how complicated that one was at the end of the day. So I very much enjoyed this. Um, actually, let's see if I can skip this. Oh. Interesting. Hear me. You who chose the harder path. Though eternal peace awaited you, that path is not yet at an end. I am Wind, by whose blessing you did take your place among the heroes of light. And the Wind knows no end, no place of rest. This being so, your journey must continue. Welcome home. That was well done. That was well done. I really enjoyed that. New game plus has been unlocked. Play through with elements such as jobs and items carried over. Don't forget to save. You can make use of this fun feature. Save your completed game data. If you don't, you won't be able to start New Game Plus. Loading this will take you to the save point on the Isle of Nothingness. Right. 
So, this has become one monster final episode. But, I'm very glad that I finally made it all the way through. I think this game definitely lived up to the hype that I had built up in my head. I don't think it is quite on the same level as the first one, but it was highly enjoyable and I hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me as well. With that, I will be finishing off this game. I will probably start a new game plus on my own time, but I won't be streaming it or posting it to YouTube. Uh, I might, if I do find something interesting in the post-game content, I might make some videos on that, but I definitely don't think I will be doing another playthrough of this. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day further. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.